Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm talking about obviously Tre Trezeguet has transferred to Tra Trabzon Spore in our third sale of the summer. Obviously we target, we let go for 15 million and then uh, Kalinic finally left permanently to the Croatian side that he was at last season and obviously yeah target as I mentioned for 15 mil. Trezeguet has gone for 4.3 mil, not a lot but he only had one year left on his contract. And the only real interested teams were Turkish teams who never have uh, any any amount of money. They they don't have a lot of money at all in that league. And then obviously Trezeguet, Trezeg, um, obviously he went to Trabzonspor as well, who are the Turkish champions. So that's probably the most we we were going to get for him. So obviously he sold players are back in training this week, non-international players anyway. So the likes of Carlos uh, and players like that that weren't on international duty, Mings. Um, Watkins, I'll all be back uh, this uh, this week for Walsall, and then uh, the internationals get a one week break before going to Australia. So obviously this should be a big week in terms of transfers. Obviously we've got four signings in, but only two players that weren't here last season. Obviously Olsen and Coutinho, their loans were made permanent, and then obviously we've signed Carlos for 26 million and uh, Kamara, obviously on a free. He's on about 150k a week. So this this really should be a big week for uh, in terms of signings because Gerard did say he wanted majority of the signings done by the time we go to Austra Australia. So hopefully this should be a big week in terms of getting players in. Um, we obviously need a midfielder, we need a left back, and we probably need a striker. Now obviously a midfielder could be dependent on what um, what happens with Louise, Louis, whether he stays or goes because obviously he's only got about eighteen months left on his contract now. Might be a little bit less. A little bit less than that, actually. And then, obviously, what happens with um, Chukwemeka as well. Uh, so, yeah, we obviously want another striker. Obviously, Watkins and Ings. Um, Watkins scored about 10 goals, I think, in the end. Ings scored about six, something like that. Um, obviously, they were, they're both in and out of the team. Very inconsistent a lot of the time. So, I think a new striker is, is probably what we need. And, obviously, a new left-back for Dinya as well. But, obviously, Ashley Young has signed a new contract today. So he's obviously another option uh, in the left back position, but he can pretty much play anywhere. So I still think we need another left back, as Ashley Young at 36, 37 cannot play as a full back in the way that Gerald would like. I think we do need a left back, a midfielder, and a striker, and I think that would be enough to um, to consider that a good transfer window. So yeah, as I said, a big week. We should we should see some signings and some activity this week, and. Um, if we get all the signings done before that Australia uh, pre-season pre-season tour, that's a decent that's a decent window. There's a decent amount of pre-season left for new signings to integrate and get get into the squad and get into the way that Gerald wants us to play. If it's any later than that, it's it's a failure. But it's a failure basically of the recruitment team not getting the the players in early to to bed in early to 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 have a really good season. So yeah. Just a little bit of video, just a bit of a summary of what we've we've done so far, and obviously, yeah, we've we signed four players. We still need to move on some some more players. Obviously, the likes of Traore, Samson, fringe players, players like that. We've moved three players on so far, in Kalinic, Trezeguet today, and obviously um, Target. Ashton has been given a new contract. I think we need three more players in to consider that a very good window to try and push up the table because obviously 14th last season wasn't good enough. So yeah, uh, that was my uh, summary of what we've done so far. Hopefully we see some transfer activity this week. Obviously some incomings and out outgoings as well because that's just, just as important. But ho hopefully yeah, we see some um, incomings this week to set up for a good pre-season and then uh, first pre-season game against Walsall on Saturday. So don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.